How gun advocates sound to normal people. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're not going to be biased at all, are you? <laughs> now is not the time to talk about fire safety. Correct. The time to talk about fire safety would have been before the inferno that wiped out the house. So that you could have prevented it from happening. I assume that you're actually, because this is supposed to be gun-related things, you're actually talking about, uh, say, mass shootings or whatever. And suggesting that uh, advocates for the rights of individuals to use guns um, typically would say after one of these incidents takes place, well, now is not the time to talk about gun safety. But as far as I can tell, that isn't the case. An awful lot of them, in fact, seem to be talking about gun safety, seem to want to talk about gun safety, seem to say, look, if you want to talk about gun safety, that's fine. What they don't want to talk about is restricting the rights of individuals to have guns. Gun control, a very different thing. See, when they say things like, I don't want it to be made illegal for me to have a gun because I'd like to have a gun, they are not saying, let's not talk about gun safety. Those are two very different things. Please stop conflating the two. And of course, when you say they're not saying this, and they actually are, you're just misrepresenting them. Not just not understanding their argument, but even flat out suggesting an argument they're not even making. So, you're not doing great on the... <laughs> actually... Oh no, wait, you are. Because, of course, this is supposed to be how their arguments sound to normal people, and you're suggesting that you are normal people because you think that their arguments sound like this. Because you don't understand the arguments, what you're presenting is something that makes no sense. <laughs> That's very unintentionally good of you. Thank you for displaying your ignorance and idiocy in such a, an unfortunately... Uh, profound way. <laughs> Why are you taking that? It's completely unnecessary. What if there's an avalanche at the office? Somebody's got to be the good guy with the shovel. Well, is it possible that there could actually be an avalanche at the office? Because, of course, it is entirely possible that there could be some sort of shooting at the office. If, for instance, you are not anywhere near any mountains that are covered with snow and all the other things that you would be required in order for an avalanche to take place, then yes, what he's doing is entirely pointless. But of course, if he, say, works in a, a ranger's hut <laughs> in some snowy mountains somewhere where avalanches are frequent, then what he's doing is fairly reasonable. To suggest that uh, shootings in workplaces never happen is ridiculous. And it can help if you have a gun. For example, someone comes in, starts, Ah, I'm going to kill everyone, so I'm going to shoot everyone. And you also have a gun, you can go, ha! Oh no, he's dead. Now the shooting never takes place. Does that make sense to anyone at all? I've got to say, the, the whole snow plow thing, that's sort of, not, that's not even a preventative measure. That's not something to protect people, that's like, that's a cleaning up the mess afterwards. Someone comes in with a gun, shoots everyone, and then is like, ah, I've run out of bullets now, I'm going to stop. And then you shoot them. That would be the same as using the snowplow. You, you really don't understand the arguments, do you? But if we outlaw murder, only criminals will murder. Except, of course, that murder is wrong. Whereas having a gun isn't. Hmm. <laughs> Yep. If you outlaw guns so that normal law-abiding citizens who do not break the law cannot have them, then normal law-abiding citizens cannot have guns. Okay? Which means that only those who break the law will be able to have guns. The only criminals will have guns if you outlaw guns argument is entirely sound. Because it's automatically true. I... Mm, Murder and guns are quite different. For example, not everyone with a gun murders someone. And an awful lot of people get murdered without the use of guns, oddly enough. Those two things are not the same at all. 
So yes, this argument may sound like that to you, but that's because you're an idiot. If only he'd had a gin and tonic before he drove off, then he would have been safe against that drunk driver. Except, of course, that there's literally no way that having a drink before you go drink driving can possibly help you. Whereas having a gun against a person who's trying to shoot you with their gun may actually help you. I'm going to shoot you. Ha, pff, shot you first. Guess what? You survived. Drunk guy behind a wheel crashes into you. Don't care how drunk you were, you're dead still. Th those two things are not even remotely similar. I have no idea how you can be this fucking retarded. I'm not saying you can't do it, I just think you should get more training and a license first. This is my God-given right as an American to fly a plane if I want to. You are not going to take that away from me. What we are talking about here is what you can do with the thing. I do not believe it should be illegal for someone to own a plane, nor to own a gun. I do, however, think it should be illegal, for example, for someone to randomly shoot into a crowded area, or shoot up into the air, if they own a gun. I also think it should be illegal for someone to fly a plane around without any formal training or qualifications or anything. Because in both instances you are being reckless with other people's lives. Totally fine, for example, if you want to shoot on your own private property, in your own private property. Or if you want to fly a plane in your own private property, on your own private property. Those are okay. No chance of hurting other people. If they're there, then they know that they have the potential of getting damaged by these things. If they've chosen to go there of their own free will. And if, of course, you've put someone into your property against their will, then that's a totally different matter and that's a different crime. But the point is... If you want to go into a public space, or a place where other people conceivably might be, where you may harm them by your lack of proper training, then you ought to be able to act responsibly, and if you don't, then you ought to be prosecuted for it. There's nothing inconsistent between holding these views. It's the same for guns as it is for planes. But that doesn't mean that people shouldn't be allowed to own guns, or own planes. Those are both fine. Okay, I know what you're thinking, but now is still not the time to talk about fire safety. Yep, still a straw man. Sure, we could raise taxes, but the rich people are going to find a way to not pay them anyway, so why bother? Yeah, pretty much. In fact, if you continue to raise taxes at the higher end, then what happens is they deliberately try to not pay them, meaning that you end up losing out on revenue. If, however, you lower the taxes, they're more likely to pay them, and so you end up with more revenue. It's the same with corporation taxes. If you increase corporation taxes, corporations move to other countries in order to not pay them. If you lower them, then corporations move to your country to pay them, increasing jobs and all the other various bits and pieces that you get thanks to that sort of thing. It's basically just logic. Something you seem to be without. I really wish you'd quit cigarettes. I'm worried you're gonna get cancer. <laughs> cigarettes don't cause cancer, smoking causes cancer. Yeah, that's literally true. I, who the fuck says, I wish you'd quit cigarettes? Well, so it's fine if she moves on to cigarillos or cigars or something. Th those are okay, is it? No, the issue you have with her is that she's smoking. Not that she has cigarettes. Owning cigarettes will not give you cancer. Smoking cigarettes will. That is literally true. In the same way that owning a gun is fine. Shooting someone with that gun is not necessarily fine. Just going around shooting people isn't okay. In the same way that smoking isn't good for you. But just having some cigarettes lying around isn't going to do anything bad to you. Do you not understand? This is li literally true. The thing you've just said, in order to make it sound stupid, like, oh, I can't believe someone would believe this. That's actually true. I just... That's just gone straight over your head, hasn't it? Okay, fair enough. You fucking moron. I know it says you're allowed to have pets, but your pet's gonna endanger other renters. I'm sorry, the Second Amendment to the lease gives me the right to bear pets, so I'm gonna own any pet I damn well please. No, oh my god, oh, oh my god, her eyes! Um, okay, fair enough. I, if the agreement that you have signed to this people says I can have whatever pet I like in my house, and she chooses, you know what, I'm gonna have a bear, 
then fair enough. You'll notice that in this scenario, the only person who got hurt was the person who owned the bet, which would indicate that, because it's supposed to be guns, that the person who had the gun gets killed by their own gun. Presumably they kill themselves, in which case, again, that's still down to personal choice and not really what anyone else does. It's, I'm, I'm not certain what you're going for here. Is it that they shouldn't be allowed to have a gun because you wouldn't let someone keep a bear in a house? Those things aren't quite the same. The bear, for example, you do not have control over. The gun, you do. You can put the gun in a box and just leave it there and nothing bad will ever happen. If you put the bear in a box, the bear might break free and kill everyone. The gun will never do this, because guns aren't bears. I would have thought this was a, a fairly simple thing to comprehend, but apparently you, you, you just can't quite grasp that concept. AIDS? But what can I do? Well, in a perfect world we'd get rid of all the AIDS, but we all know that too many people have it already. <laughs> Boop! This is wrong for a number of reasons. First of all, we could actually get rid of AIDS if we wanted, we just have to round up all the people with AIDS and kill them all. That would be wrong, just saying we could literally do it if we wanted to. Um, Guns, on the other hand, is a bit more difficult because they're more widespread and there's an awful lot more of them and it would be far more difficult to try and get rid of them all. Also, people can just keep making more guns, whereas you can't keep making more AIDS. Um, <laughs> other than those two issues, uh, what you then have is this woman has been diagnosed with AIDS. That's something that she's been given and now she has and she can't get rid of it and it's bad and it'll kill her. Guns, on the other hand, are not something you get diagnosed with, nor are they something that automatically kills you, nor are they something that you can't simply remove. If someone gives you a gun, you can say, oh, I'd rather not have this gun, and give it away, or sell it, or destroy it, or just put it on the ground and walk away. If someone just hands you a gun, you don't immediately have a death sentence. There's... <laughs> It's not like guns are a disease that there's no cure for. Those two things aren't even remotely similar. You moron. What about now? Is now a good time? Don't politicize the argument! None of any of that. The whole thing. None of it made sense. Now, I'm... not necessarily pro-gun. I'm pro people having the right to own a gun, if they want to. That doesn't mean I think people should just have guns. I don't think it's like a, a thing where I was like, oh, well, everyone would be better, everything would be better if everyone had a gun. I don't know that that's necessarily true, not at all. I think there's an awful lot of people who probably shouldn't have guns, but I think they should be allowed to try and get one. And whenever I hear people talk about guns, and they talk about... You know, should people be allowed to have guns? Should they not? The answer is always yes, they should be allowed. I also think people should behave responsibly with guns. I believe that if they behave irresponsibly with guns, then they should be prosecuted in the same way that I believe that if they behave irresponsibly with a car, they should be prosecuted like by junk, drunk driving. Hmm. So it's just a weird thought point in my head. Should it be illegal for people to shoot while drunk? Considering that, maybe a handle a firearm. Maybe if maybe it should be illegal for people to handle a firearm while drunk. That's an interesting question. I'm gonna have to ask some people that. Well, I'll try and get that guy T to answer it. He probably he's probably got a good opinion on that. Anyway, I'm rambling now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the video's done. So fuck off, everyone. <laughs> of course. Good luck.